Katie at NEH7. My name is Priscilla and for today's tutorial I'm going to do more of a dewy bronzy look so if you like this look then please continue watching. let's get started. I've already done my eyebrows offline and I've moisturized my face so we're going to begin now with the eyes. I'm going to add a concealer. I'm going to go with Tarte Shape Tape. Now that we have the concealer on, I'm going to go in with a powder and it is the Air Spun Loose Powder. So now that our eyes are prepped and ready for a shadow, I'm actually going to go in with a contour shadow for this bronzier look and I'm actually going to be using the Kat Von D contour palette and this is what the colors look like and I will be going in using this color right here. Now that we have the transition shade in, I'm going to go with the lid color, a little lighter color. I'm going to be using the Morphe Palette 25B and the color that I'll be using, and I'm actually going to use just my hands to apply it, it is going to be this color right here. It's actually a very pretty color, nice look for just a bronzy look. Now that we have that shadow applied, I'm going to go in with the Big Lash Mascara. And what would a look be like without lashes? I'm going to go in with the Ardell's 113 Wispies. Now that we have our lashes on, I will be going in with a primer on my face and I'm using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Mist. Now that we have our face primered, I'm going to add a highlighter just before I put on the foundation and I'm using the Iconic Illuminator Drops. Now we're ready for foundation. Today I'm going to be using two foundations. I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the number 228 and the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth in the number 240. The 240 I'm going to use around the perimeter of my face and then the lighter one will go more in the center of the face. And to blend this foundation, I will be using a beauty blender. Now that we have the foundation applied, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. With the same powder we used to set the eyes, I'm going to go in and set the under eye. Now I'm going to go in and contour with my favorite contour stick by Wet n Wild. It is the number 806. So now that our contour is done, I'm going to set it with a bronzing powder and since we're going with a more bronzy look, I'm actually going to use a bronzer with a little bit of sheen in it. The bronzer that I'm going to be using is Physicians Formula Bronze Boost in the color medium to dark. It's actually a very pretty color. 
This is actually what the color looks like. Now we're gonna go in with a blush. You may not need to use blush in this step, but I'm actually gonna use a blush that's actually a bronzer, and it is by CoverGirl, and it's called Bronzer in the color Golden Tan. Okay, and so just to define the cheeks a little bit more, I'm actually gonna add some powder right under here. You've seen this before in my other tutorials, and I'm gonna be using the same powder that I used to set the eyeshadow in my under eye concealer. So we're gonna let that powder sit for just a second. I'm gonna go back in with the Kat Von D palette and I'm actually gonna use the same color that I used as my transition shade for the under eye. Now I'm gonna go in and add mascara. Now we're gonna go in and add some highlight to the inner corner of the eye and the brow bone. And today I'm gonna to be using the Anastasia's Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. It's actually a very, very beautiful color. Now with that same highlighter, I'm going to add some highlight to the top of the cheek. And for the lip liner, I'm gonna go in using the MAC Spice. That's the color right there. Now for the lip, I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Supernatural. And now to add a little bit of sheen and gloss to the lip, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle. Now to set the face, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Fix Plus in Lavender. Now to complete this more dewy, bronzy look, I'm gonna go in with a setting spray that has a little bit of a sheen. It is by Tatcha and it is called Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your feedback. I'm trying to incorporate all the feedback that I'm receiving from my subscribers and it's really appreciated. I am trying to get better with every video that I create. So hopefully you'll join me on the next video. Thank you so much and have a good spring.